Do you ever have to deal with sales deals slipping through the cracks? Have you found that inactive deals are hard to find inside of your HubSpot CRM? Do you wish there was an easy way to track those deals, get notifications when they're inactive, and easily streamline your process, close more deals, and drive more revenue? Well, of course you do. Well, in this video, we're going to talk about HubSpot's inactive deal cards so that you can stop wishing about those sales and additional revenue opportunities and make streamlining your sales process a reality. Hey. You know what time it is. That's right, it's your boy George B. Thomas from Impulse Creative bringing you yet another HubSpot educational video. If we're meeting for the first time, let me first say welcome to the community. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and that bell as well for more valuable, entertaining, yes they are, and educational HubSpot and inbound related videos along the way. Do you wanna get found online, generate more qualified leads, and drive more revenue for your business? Then check out the links in the description below as we've helped hundreds of folks just like you solve those exact problems. So here's the deal. In the past, uncovering inactive deals in your sales pipeline in HubSpot was not an easy thing to do. A quick Google search shows several HubSpot community posts of sales reps and managers asking for a better way. I mean, let's be honest, in the past, you needed a bit of a hack, some tinfoil, and to stand on one leg in a really weird position to find those inactive deals. Okay, it wasn't that bad, but you get my point. The good thing is that it has all changed and uncovering those inactive deals is both easy and customizable to your company's needs. With that said, let's dive into HubSpot and get into the good stuff. So here we are in a deal pipeline. You can see we've got deal stages here and we got there by going sales and deals. Now you can see here we have a grayed out card, which this is an inactive card. And you can even see there's a notification that says inactive card for 32 days. Now you'll be able to easily see who's inactive or who isn't and you can modify which ones will actually be inactive or not based on date range as well as there's some customization but to get into that we need to go ahead and dive into board actions and then edit cards once we edit cards we're gonna see a slide and then you'll see here we have default view or we have compact view as well as we can display associated contacts and companies on the card if we want or not so we can go ahead and check that off we can go back to default view whatever you want you can make it look the way you want depending on how many deals you have in deal stages you may want to slim it down a little bit are you getting value out of this tutorial then please give it a like hit that subscribe and the bell as well for those instant notifications we want to serve you with all of your hubspot and inbound learning needs and the only way that's right, the only way we can achieve that goal is if you let us know that you're interested in the content and that you're part of the YouTube tribe. Make sure you stick around to the very end of this video where I share one pro tip when it comes to using HubSpot for your sales process. But then here's the magic right here. And by the way, if you don't have any inactive cards, you can click this. It'll show you an example of what it's gonna look like when you do have some inactive cards. But also you can adjust this time frame. You see some companies that might be 14 days, some might be 30 days. Heck, you can even do this drop down and it might be based on a week. So in four weeks, consider them inactive. Listen, some companies have longer life cycle stages than others. And so this is very customizable to your needs also if you don't want to show inactive cards you can turn it off I'm not exactly sure why you would do that but it can be done but we're gonna go ahead and leave ours on because here at impulse creative we definitely want to see who's inactive whether it's in our training process whether it's in our sales process we want to make sure that the flow is moving forward and now with inactive cards you can do just that so as you can see keeping track of your inactive deals in HubSpot is no longer a wish list item but it is a reality that you now have in your HubSpot CRM tool belt. This means that your sales team has a very bright future when it comes to closing more deals at a faster pace based on better deal visibility. And speaking of better visibility, it's time for that pro tip you've been waiting for. Make sure you're using the HubSpot activity feed to see the engagement or lack thereof from your sales opportunities. Simply head into your HubSpot, go to contacts and then activity feed to filter through the different engagement types. You may wanna think about enabling desktop notifications for the plethora of engagement options by heading into your notification settings in your HubSpot CRM. But remember with great power comes great responsibility. 
visibility. But your activity feed and desktop notifications can help you with your visibility during your entire sales process. Ready to drive more traffic, generate more leads, and drive more revenue? Then simply check out the links in the description below. Want to get more educational and entertaining videos just like this one in the future? Then hit that subscribe and the bell as well for those handy dandy instant notifications. Also, make sure you head over to sprockettalk.com and sign up for your free, that's right, I said free membership for even more content like interviews, podcast episodes, and other additional resources. In closing, make sure you schedule an internal meeting with your team and figure out how many days or weeks you want to set for your inactive deal cards as an organization so that your entire team can streamline their process, uncover inactive deals, and drive more revenue for themselves and for the company. Continue to be a sales ninja with the HubSpot CRM. And until next time, when we meet in the next video, make sure you're focused on being a happy, helpful, humble human. And as always, make sure you're doing some happy HubSpotting along the way.